Friday Facebook live video. My name is Stefan and I'm the tech editor of bestproducts.com and today we are going to have a chat about modular smartphones. So in case you're not very familiar with the concept, modular smartphones entered the conversation a couple years ago when Google released a concept called Project Ara. Essentially modular phones allow users to add or subtract functionality to their to, to their everyday device by by attaching modules to it. It could be a larger battery or a better camera, bigger speaker, or just something that looks nice. The the possibilities for that are endless. And Google first entered this topic into the mainstream a couple years ago. This year, during the Mobile World Congress, LG launched the first mainstream high-end modular smartphone, the LG G5. It allowed users to add camera grips to it, and also it had a amplifier module, which somehow didn't make it to the United States, but bottom line is modular smartphones somehow became mainstream. Today, we have the freshly launched Moto Z Force and Moto Z both are droids for Verizon Wireless and they're made by Lenovo. They got up for pre-order yesterday and they were originally announced last month at a glitzy event in San Francisco. Like Ashton Kutcher was on the scene and talked about the phones and their modular functionality. So before we get into their swappable bets, we're just gonna chat about the two phones. So we have the Moto Z Force and we have the Moto Z. Obviously, the first thing that you notice is they share a similar design. Like they look almost identical, except they're not completely identical. For example, the Moto Z is much, is much thinner than the Moto Z Force. It's actually one of the thinnest phones currently you can buy at 5.2 millimeters, which is almost absurd as, as far as thinness goes. The Moto Z Force is thicker, but it has a larger battery and another very important feature, it has shatterproof screen. And when I say shatterproof screen, it is actually shatterproof. Like you can drop it on concrete and it's not going to break, which is kind of a big deal because most, the most visible kind of damage you can do to your smartphones when you shatter your screen. You know, everybody has been through this at least once in their life, probably by now. So it's great that they have it as functionality. It originally appeared in the device's predecessor, which was the Droid, the Moto Droid Turbo 2, again for Verizon. So anyway, that's the difference. Ultra thin, that one is thicker, but has shatterproof screen and bigger battery. It also has a better camera. That one has 21 megapixel camera as opposed to a 13 megapixel camera. Other than that, both smartphones share identical specs. You get 5.5 inch Quad HD display, which is standard for high-end Android smartphones. You get powerful Qualcomm processor and Android Marshmallow on board, which is the latest release of Android by Google for the time being. Anyway. Do you know why it's called Marshmallow? So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so since it, it entered the market, Google has been naming Android after desserts. So it could be Kit Kat, Marshmallow, Lollipop. The next major iteration will be called Nougat, which will replace Marshmallow at some point this year, literally any moment now. But both smartphones run Android, it's pretty stock, which means that they will get updated fast. Uh, Lenovo has barely touched the user interface, just added a few cool gestures. For example, one thing that I love, it's always been on Moto phones, is like, you can twist your wrist and just start the camera, which is really cool. Like when you need to take a picture real quick, you can just twist, press, take a photo, you know, really, really cool. So anyway, uh, other than that, metal body on both smartphones, they feel very, very premium, obviously like most Android, high-end Android smartphones today in their price range. Speaking of price range, $620, $624, that one is $100 more, which is $700 more. Just in case people are wondering which one should they buy, I'll just skip the Moto Z altogether and go to the Moto Z Force. It's only a hundred bucks more, but has a bigger battery and shatterproof display and a better camera. So unless you're obsessed with bragging about having one of the thinnest phones around, you, you, you will want the Moto Z Force droid. 
So now onto the modular components. So the cool thing about the modular components that Lenovo introduced is the first major thing is that they're future proof. That is, they will be compatible with future iterations of those smartphones. So if there is a Moto Z2 next year, you should, according to the manufacturer, be able to use those components on your phone. So it won't be a one-time investment that you make that won't work once you change your phone, which is very, very important, obviously, because some of those uh, components are not exactly super cheap. And the way they work, this is, this is the coolest part about it. This is why the tech community is so excited. Both devices have a connector on the back and and the components are magnetic. So for example, here we have the JBL speaker, which is one of the components that's available at launch. And you simply align the camera with the opening and you snap it on and that's it. It's, it's magnetic, so it, it's sturdy. And the phone instantly recognizes that you have connected the module to it. You don't need to do anything else. You just simply attach it. The JPL speaker has a built-in kickstand, so you can just leave it like that. We might even try and play some tunes. And do you have to charge that separately, or does it? So the modular component itself does indeed have a charging port, which is a USB type C that both phones have. So you can charge it using the, the phone charger, but when it's connected to the phone and when you charge the phone, you can also charge the component, which is pretty neat. And as a speaker, it's actually pretty high quality. It sounds very, very good for something that, let's try and play something. See what we got right here. Okay, let's do some classic rock. And do you, and you buy those separately, like from the phone, or does it come like in any packages together? So, the modules are sold. The modules are sold separately. Oh. But at launch, you'll be able to bundle them with your phone and get significant discounts. I, I'm reasonably confident that by the time the holiday season kick, kick, kicks off, people will be able to get some of those for free. Uh, at in in the box of the phone you're getting one of the style mods. So they got, in addition to the speaker, which will power up a little later, they got style mods, which can have various finishes. For example, this is wood. You can also get leather, various fabrics, and just change the look of your phone. For example, just add it on. And this is how it looks. And so Jessica's wondering who's watching, uh, where can she uh, get one of these phones? So these phones are currently available for pre-order on Verizon Wireless. So you can order them from Verizon. You can also order them from Motorola.com via the Moto Maker and customize it. Choose how much memory you want or what kind of Moto mods you want to add to your retail package. And they will begin shipping on the 28th. So next week, you'll be able to have the phone in your hands. So the Moto style mods are really, are really cool because they not only look nice and add character to the phone, they also protect it from scratches, which is pretty important these days also. So another cool one is a battery pack. So you can attach extra battery capacity just by snapping a module to the phone. It adds almost a full day of usage. See, the sound means that they recognize that you connected a, a module. So they shake hands and stuff and it starts working. So those battery packs have been developed by Incipio, which is one of the industry giants in mobile accessories and they come in various styles. For example, this one has been designed by Tumi, which is a pretty famous designing company for luggage, travel accessories and all that. They make high-end suitcases and whatnot. It has like a brushed metal finish. It looks, it looks really nice. And most importantly, it adds more battery life to it. Another one that's uh, available is by Kate Spade. It has black and white stripes, so designer touch. And is this one of Tumi's first uh, foyers into like technology with phones? Uh, or? Actually Tumi, not really. Tumi has been making mobile accessories for a while, like iPad cases, iPhone cases, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they have battery packs too. 
but this partnership is I think first for them with Lenovo on making a smartphone accessory and like I mentioned Kate Spade or you can just get a plain black one with a matte finish that's made by Incipio, that's has Incipio branding obviously the Incipio one will be the most affordable and if you want the designer the designer name on it it will cost a bit more they range between 60 and 90 dollars as far as I recall and again it charges from one when you connect the phone to the charger you will also charge your battery pack so you don't have to worry about keeping them charged or not the most expensive motor mode for the time being is a projector so that's a real projector that uh, Lenovo developed for the phones once you attach it and it can it can display 70 inch diagonal image on a on a surface that works let's try and power it up see what happens it's moving right see see they shook hands they're working it knows we have connected it already and here's how it works just press the button oh that's wow well this is basically our screen there's a focus button so we're gonna focus it See, kind of visible. I mean, the, the the lights don't help much, but you get the concept of it. The, 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 when when the lighting is is favorable, you can just project stuff. You know, whatever's on the phone, watch a YouTube video, play a game, try and catch a Pokemon <laughs> if uh, circumstances oh, permit, God. or just enjoy a Candy Crush on 70 inches of diagonal, which is pretty grand. My book. Uh, another thing that it has is there's a stand, so you can just place it on the stand and just kick back That's awesome. and, wow. and watch. No uh, fucks and chill. It has its own battery, so it can deliver up to an hour of playback on its own battery, and then it will tap into the phone's battery. But once again, if you plug the phone to a charger, you will be able to charge the module itself. So in this particular model, it, module is a bit is a bit pricey it's $2.99 but for people who do presentations often on the go or or just people who use presentations for for business it can be it can be pretty convenient I know yeah it's hard to pick which one is like your favorite because they're all super uh, cool as far do you have one though as far as favorite if I have to pick so you get those downloads by default and those are pretty affordable they'll be price around twenty dollars so you can just get a bunch of those and literally style your phone for 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 different occasions one that I like quite a bit is the is the battery pack because most battery pack cases are pretty ugly you know they hide the phone they add a massive amount of bulk to it whereas this one is the closest thing to an elegant that I've seen so far you know and it it attaches to the phone seamlessly so you don't have to sacrifice looks or at least too much bulk for the functionality that, that, that you're getting. And you don't have to worry about charging it separately, you can just leave it on the phone. And do you know, um, like, do they have the price breakdowns of what the, all the add-ons are? Or? Yeah, so price breakdowns is, here's how it works, uh, $20 for the style mods. The speaker by JBL is priced at $80, has two audio drivers, so it's pretty loud. It's basically as loud as a compact wireless speaker. It, it's a massive upgrade over the built-in speaker of the phone it's on any day. Great for the beach, yeah. Yes, yes, actually, awesome. it is pretty good. The battery packs range between 60 and I believe it was $90. It depends on the mm -hmm. branding. My guess is the Kate Spade one is the priciest because it's designed by Kate Spade <laughs> and the uh, projector costs $299 like 300 bucks and it kind of makes sense because it's from an engineering yeah. perspective it's the most sophisticated one it's basically your TV then yeah okay. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It, can. it can if you if you're one of those people that want to cut the cord you can and someone is just tuning in and they love the modules but can the phone just work on its own oh like absolutely okay, yeah. absolutely you, you don't need the modules the only thing that you need my guess, in my guess, is the style cover, mm -hmm. and then you have a high-end Android smartphone from 2016 with top specs, 
good camera. Uh, the Moto Z has okay battery life. The Moto Z Force has great battery life just because it has a much larger battery. So like I said, be aware of that when you're shopping. I'll skip the Moto Z and go for the Moto Z Force. Also, because the Moto Z is super thin, there's no audio jack. So if you have a collection of headphones, be aware of that. They are giving you a dongle which allows you to connect regular headphones to your, to, to your phone, but it's not the prettiest thing. Uh, it's one more thing to worry about losing. And also you are still taking the only wired port for the phone. So I don't think, I mean, it will work, but you might be better off just looking for wireless headphones at this point. So even though the Moto Z Force Droid is thicker, it still doesn't have an audio jack and you have to use the same thing. So be aware of that. Who knows, maybe, uh, speaking of modules, there's a developer kit that Lenovo released. So this will allow other companies or even startups to create their own modules. So maybe down the line, someone will release some module with the standard audio jack. That would be pretty cool. Oh, awesome. I mean, I think so. Awesome. So that was it. Moto Z and Moto Z Force Droid high end Android phones currently available on Verizon. Cool modules. And up until now, modules sounded great on paper. They sounded like a fine idea, but what's worth mentioning about those is these actually are very well implemented. They work seamlessly. You don't have to be tech savvy or a nerd to operate them. You can just give the phone to anyone and they'll snap it on enjoy the extra functionality so also the fact that they're future proof is kind of a big deal because up until now no one has ever said that about them about a modular smartphone so as good as modular smartphone gets for the time being and on this note thank you for your time thank you <laughs>